screaming. Four. All right. Here's five. Five revolutions. Six. All right. It's going to be about six and three quarters, give or take. Okay. They stop the line. I have been interested in model airplanes for most of my life. For the last several years, I've been most interested in teaching what I know about simple rubber-powered model airplanes and gliders to young people. Because of my enthusiasm and accomplishment, the Education Division of the Academy of Model Aeronautics sent me the Aerolab DVD to review. I was immediately excited after reviewing the DVD. The creators of this curriculum had the same basic approach to model aviation classes that I had taken. It was not just about recruiting future model airplane enthusiasts, but more about what they could learn from the experience. In December 2008, I would join the Educational Division of AMA at the National Science Teacher Convention in Cincinnati, Ohio to see how Aerolab was presented to teachers. From what I had observed, the teachers were very excited about the Aerolab curriculum. When a teacher would sit down at the booth to assemble the Jetstream airplane, they seemed to be hooked. What I like about Aerolab. Knives or glue are not needed to build the Jetstream airplane. The airplane is more rugged than the tissue covered planes that I have built in my model building classes. The airplane can fly in a relatively small area. It's easy to collect data with the airplane flying in a fixed circle. What is Aerolab? Quoting AMA documentation, Aerolab began as Inventing Flight, a curriculum written to celebrate the 2003 centenary of the Wright brothers' first manned powered flight at Kitty Hawk in 1903. As part of the celebration, the city of Dayton wanted a K-12 multidisciplinary story of the rights to share with every school district in the state of Ohio, as well as teachers throughout the country who wished to make the history of flight part of their instruction. With the arrival of No Child Left Behind, federal education legislation, and the requirements of standards-based science instruction, Members of the AMA Education Committee created a second generation set of activities focusing more on the state and national physical science standards being developed for middle school students. Aerolab was funded by Alcoa Foundation to address the needs of classroom teachers who wanted engaging, hands-on activities to help teach force and motion as preparation for state exams in physical science. What you need for Aerolab. The Gillows Jetstream airplane is often found in hobby shops or toy stores. Unfortunately, tan rubber strip and winders will most likely have to be purchased through mail order outlets. The AC Supply Company sells everything you need not normally found locally, including the Aerolab DVD. For rubber lubricant, you may use Son of a Gun or Armor All normally found where automotive supplies are sold. The pylon you can build or purchase through AC Supply Company. If you do not already have large nails or washers, the pre-made pylon might be the way to go. In the following images, you will see the forms used for recording flight times in the various setups of the Jetstream airplane for the various labs. In the center of gravity lab, the wing is moved to different positions. For the weight lab, one or two pennies are added at the center of gravity of the airplane. For the drag lab, yarn is added to the wing tips to create additional drag. <laughs> 